worked on uh, my speed and I try to you know get down on weight so I could uh, be more agile and also my communication just to talk to my defense and you know try and learn the game more and be more more student of the game I guess and uh, just a lot of footwork a lot of diving and just preparing myself for the season yeah I worked on uh, my footwork um, with the ball on my feet and my distribution want to you know get a little more accurate my distribution of the ball um, just work on that and my fitness a little bit we had a uh, defensive meeting this morning, and we all just talked about, uh, you know, the uh, good, you know, the good and the bad that we've been working on. So we've, uh, you know, just talked about it and trying to get the best out of one another. And uh, it's just great to have, you know, Ramon and Ethan in the back, and I got Brian, who's a, you know, starting, you know, he started his freshman year. So coming back, and we just got everyone back. It's just, it's just great, great to have a veteran group back there. It makes my job easier. Experience is going to help the team because, you know, when you're playing in big games and you're getting, you know, last last 10, 15 minutes of the game. Uh, you know, you don't really have time to really think and evaluate. You just go off experience, you go on instinct. And so I think experience is going to help a lot. Me and Omar get along great on the field, off the field. We're living together right now. Um, just kind of, you know, see what he does and the things that he, he does to prepare for games. You know, going through the process really helped me um, coming in this year, make sure I'm ready to go. Chris, honestly, I'm not going to lie, he, he's pushed me to, you know, be the best that I can be. Every practice he comes brings his A game, so it makes me even, you know, come out even harder and every, you know, stronger every day. And uh, he's, his work ethic's just uh, one of the one of the best I've ever seen. He never really gives up, and he always works hard. So I thank him for that, for giving you know giving his all every practice. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to teach him to you know just lead by example, just trying to you know communicate from the back. And uh, you know, we both learn a lot from one another. Omar has usually got a pretty good hairstyle. So I'm trying to make sure my hair looks pretty good all the time. You know, you look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. So he taught me that. Just try to keep our composure. We don't want to chase the game. We don't want to send everyone forward and then have no one back on defense. So we don't, we don't go for broke. We just kind of like stay, you know, stay as a unit, stay compact, and we just communicate the entire time. That's the best way for me and the defense to kind of stay in tune and everyone, you know, stay focused is to communicate, which helps us a lot because it keeps us, uh, you know, in the game. It's all mental. You know, you, uh, field players during a game could take a minute or two off and we can't. So in overtime games, you know, it's just in practice. You know, if you're doing 10 reps, making sure the ninth and the 10th rep are just as good as the first one, you know, so in the overtime game, you know, the last minute of the game, you're just as focused as the first minute. We've done it. We have a veteran group back there, and I think we're all just excited for the year. Um, I'm most excited about, you know, looking to win a Big West championship, uh, hopefully get some good playing time, and uh, just hang out with my teammates. It's a... Uh, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to you know be on this team with uh, my teammates. I have you know a lot of friends around the Big West, so I'm you know excited to go to their their home fields and then uh, you know come to uh, have them come to our home field and it's just a lot of a lot of trash talking. So I'm excited just to get out there and uh, you know enjoy the best years and best times of my life.